Hi there, this is John from cncroi.com and today we're going to make a custom acrylic name badge with a color changed white front. The problem with me going to a lot of networking events is that somebody always says, hey that's a cool name badge and they happen to be a customer that I actually sell my services to so what I do is I give them my name badge. Uh, the bad thing is that I keep having to make new name badges because I give up all the other ones. Well, I guess the good news from that is that I get more money in to the business so I can invest in more name badges. So it's like a cycle that goes around. In this case here, I decided to make a real simple name badge using exactly the same design that I used for a wooden one a little while back. Um, I believe that one was out of mahogany. What we did here is the white that you see on this is actually done with our fiber laser tube and it's just color changed. So this is not ink or printed or any kind of fashion. It's just a laser uh, that color changes the surface of the plastic to be like an off-white uh, as you can see here. And the cutting of the badge here is done using a CO2 laser source. So it gives you an idea of what we can do because our machine, our Austrian CNC laser, has both a fiber for the color changing and a CO2 for the cutting. So what we'll do now, we'll take a look at our industrial laser making this. One of the challenges we have with our fiber laser tube when we're annealing metal um, and marking metal or with plastics color changing them, they're all done with a fiber laser tube, is that it's such a hot laser source that it ends up bending the material. In the case of metal, we actually end up bending the metal and with plastic here, 
as you can see, it's been bent a little bit. So it's very, very minor, but it's just enough to get things a little bit out of focus. That's why you see the bit of the variance here. Because what happened is while the laser was doing the work, the plastic was itself slowly bending and thus the focus was changing and thus you get a different result on the plastic. Now there's a few ways that I've developed to get around some of these situations. But whenever there's a very large surface area like this, uh, what you do with metal, for instance, if this was to be annealed, you just go with a thicker metal. Uh, with plastics, uh, the same idea, you just go with a thicker plastic. Now for a name badge, I didn't want a quarter inch or a half inch plastic badge to go on me like this. Uh, so what I did is I just sort of live with it. One way to get around it is go slower, but you definitely increase the cost of production. So for me, for networking events, this is a great uh, demonstration to show people what happens when you go sort of out of focus. So for my purposes, this is totally fine. Uh, for yours, or if you need a corporate name badge or something like that, generally what they are is like one by three or something like this. And as a result, you don't have that much color changing if happening. You just have like an off-white at the top, uh, something like that. So you'd be totally fine. So if you're looking for custom name badges, basically any material, any shape, any size, contact me at cncroi.com.